this is IBM Museum and I'm just getting prepped for some videos that I'll have coming up I have been using the phrase token ringing in the new year and I'll go through it's not likely for as soon as this Saturday I'll get to that in a moment but this next coming live stream that I have on my regular scheduled time I do it at 10 a.m local time to me which is mountain standard time and that's gmt minus seven that comes out to be noon eastern standard time 11 a.m central standard time and 9 a.m pacific standard time and certainly you can use that gmt minus seven to kind of calculate it if you're outside the continental united states and there's of course as always there's a reminder i've set that up already you just click on that and you get reminded for when I go live. I don't know if it'll necessarily be this token ring content that I'm, I'm trying to go through and set up. I um, was looking for, I pulled out these laptops, and of course they're not IBM systems, they're Dell, but they're nice full-featured systems that have Windows 2000 already loaded on them, uh, easy enough for me to work with because they do have even with the Ethernet network connection, they also have PCMCIA slots. And that'll work for me going through getting a token ring set up on kind of a minimal footprint. I'll be able to have some of these off to the side. Now, when I did go through and look, I mean, I went through and I pulled out my, my cables and um, I do have those stored separately but I was not able to find the particular PCMCA adapters that I that I have around. So I'll I've kind of mitigated that a little bit to where I've gone through and placed an order. I'll go through and show that in just a moment. But for if I have as many of the um, PCMCA adapters around as I do have cables, I'll I'll be set and I can go through. These are just the standard for the, those uh, adapters. Again, I'll show that in just a moment, show a link. And you notice the green, just like you know the color of my shirt here. That's kind of a standard color for the, the token ring connection. And these cords, I think they're probably at least six foot, maybe closer to 10 foot, but they go through and you know at least i can go through and plug them into my 8239 that stackable token ring hub uh, that it'll be nice to go through and have on the network um, and i can go through and and have several stations by all these cables at once and i think there was at least over 10 cables um, in this um, um, some are uncoiled <laughs> So a little bit of a little bit of a mess there, um, and that one's uncoiled. And even interesting enough, that's not. Um, in fact, that might be for one of the other brands. It doesn't have the green on there to mark it. Um, that might just be for a a knockoff from another adapter. I don't see that branded otherwise. Just those blocks down there on that, that neural because you went through and you, you locked it in and this other side of the connection isn't green as well. So not IBM, but I'll, I'll keep that handy. And I even discovered that I had a, a media filter in the bag. And I've got more of these. I'll show this. And this is interesting for the marking. And again, the green colorization. It's got that so-called type 1 connector, that hermaphroditic connector that it was typically on the early token ring MOS, the multi-axis units or, um, that you had set up on the token ring network. And... It's interesting for this side, it's marked as a hundred and I'm taking that that is matched with the later 
token ring that IBM had that was 100 megabit per second really just didn't come on the market at, uh, and wasn't produced um, as heavily. I do have a, 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 a box for an adapter that's on the PCI bus. I can do an unboxing to kind of show that. But really for that, the 100 megabit ring speed was just not one of those things out there. And um, well, it's interesting to see the, the media uh, filter for that. I've got other media filters. I've got the DB9s to RJ45 media filters, even have one that's open, and I'll be showing those in a later video as well. But that's some of the cabling I'll go through and use, and hopefully I can find the adapters. If not, I went through, I did um, find an order online. Let's get scrolled back up to the top of this. I can go through and probably hide my webcam as well. Um, to these are the the PCMCI adapters that I'm referring to. They've got this just this weird um, foil label that IBM put on them that gives a really uh, kind of a sheen to them. Um, this auction doesn't really talk about anything that about those cables. It's a little bit different of cables than I have, uh, but at least I can go through and the ones I have can go through and connect on just the same way. Uh, so it doesn't really matter for me, the cabling or anything like that. And there's that other view of just how the thing is. And once I get these in or I find the adapters that I have around, I'll go through and show them on camera because how they catch the light and everything um, there. But um, I've got these in order just in case I can't find the the adapters that I got around and this is a decent enough of price um, you know I didn't go through and I didn't get all six here from this auction but I did get uh, pick up some that I can use in the in the video so just a good way to set up and I do have even other laptops I can go through and with those PCMCA slots to get this all set up otherwise for me. So just what I'm looking forward to doing, I hope, you know, even if it's not this topic for this upcoming live stream on next Saturday, which is January the 1st, 2022, I hope to see you there and we can go through whatever the subject is, we can, we can cover it well enough. And in the future, you'll see these systems and I'll get working with the token ring a little bit more in this upcoming year. I do have a lot of content so far that I've got planned um, to go through and cover. So, you know, it, it'll be kind of a, a great ride. I hope it'll be a good year uh, that I can go through and give a lot more information on these diverse sort of topics. So if you did enjoy this announcement, go ahead and click on that like button, please. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Recommend it to your friends for them to do so as well. I can always use some you know, more subscribers. We're coming up on 1,000 subscribers. I'm not going to hit it before the end of the year, but uh, probably not even within the first month of 2022 unless something crazy happens. But I'm going to go over a thousand subscribers. It's just, it's, I'm well on the path and that's, that's great as far as I, I, I want to go far beyond that. But that's a, that's a great um, threshold to, to cross over at the, for me. So, but that's all I have for now. This is IBM Museum. Thank you.